As we take a look at what we're seeing here across the Lone Star State, there have been showers to our south, showers to the north across Oklahoma, even a couple of flurries up there. But for us, it has been a pretty nice day across the region. We'll see more clouds move in as we head into Tuesday, and that will bring a chance for an isolated shower or two. But let's put the week as a whole here for your weather headlines. Again, isolated showers as we move into Tuesday. I think our best chance for showers and thunderstorms will be Thursday afternoon into Friday morning ahead of a pretty strong cold front, which could get us close to freezing as we head into the weekend. How about that? So don't plant those gardens just yet out there. As we take a look at our future track, you can see some clouds on the way as we head toward Tuesday morning. We may see a few peaks of sunshine through the day on Tuesday, but there also could be an isolated shower here or there as partly to mostly cloudy skies take over across the area. Then we get to Wednesday. I think we have partly cloudy skies that day and it should warm up for us and stay dry all day on Wednesday. So let's take a look at temperatures tonight. We should fall into the upper 30s and low 40s across the northern half of the area, low to mid 40s across the south, and then for your Tuesday, highs will be into the 50s for our northern counties, but most of us hitting the 60 plus reading as we head from Waco Temple Colleen down to the south and east. And checking out your forecast, it does appear that we will be going up a little bit Tuesday into Wednesday at 72 degrees. Then on Thursday, chance for thunderstorms by the afternoon and evening hours. And that could linger into Friday morning as well. But before that, it looks like that things will be pretty quiet most of Thursday until the afternoon and evening hours. By Friday afternoon, we're looking good. But look at that, 51 for a high on St. Patrick's Day. And then lows could get close to freezing this weekend. And how about highs in the 40s and 50s?